What is gray literature? Whether you know it or not, you've probably already used it. Gray literature is defined as information produced on all levels of government, academics, business, and industry in electronic and print formats not controlled by commercial publishing, i.e. where publishing is not the primary activity of the producing body. That is to say that gray literature is informative work that is not published through the usual channels for academic literature. It is published informally or non-commercially, or remains completely unpublished. It is rarely peer-reviewed, but may still be good, reliable information. Therefore, it can be extremely valuable for your research. Many organizations produce gray literature, such as government, industry, and think tanks, as well as scholarly or professional organizations. It is often not indexed or organized, making it difficult to locate. Gray literature can include anything from research reports to data sets to social media, and is used across many different disciplines. There are various types of gray literature, including scholarly, which is made up of government websites, technical reports, and white papers, amongst others. There's also community-based gray literature, which can include things like newsletters, emails, blogs, and even social media posts. Data is also a kind of gray literature. Think of census data, or economic trends, or geospatial data. These are all extremely valuable and used extensively in scholarly research. Gray literature can supplement research, and it can inform about current trends or developments in a particular field of study. Because it does not undergo the same lengthy editorial process as a typical academic paper, it can often be more current than literature published in scholarly journals. It can also be used to offer a boots-on-the-ground perspective of a particular topic. For instance, clinical guidelines are critical resources for the nursing and medical communities. Working papers are often used in the social sciences. Patents can be of great interest to engineers. There are a number of ways to locate gray literature. Look to the third page of this guide, how and where to find gray literature, for a list of repositories and search engines sorted by type. These can include broad search engines such as Google, as well as resources dedicated just to finding gray literature. Additionally, many electronic databases, including the ones you have access to through the university, have been including a larger amount of gray literature as well. On the second page of this guide, identifying gray literature, strategies for locating gray lit in several prominent databases are listed. If you would like help finding great literature, come talk to your librarian and we will be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.